I know you've got two young kids at home and you left them to go participate in this bubble. How has that been for you? How has that worn on you as you go and try to repeat? That probably was the toughest part of the decision-making process with two uh, babies at home, being locked at the house for three, four months, you know, spending every second of every day with them was new for all of us. And it was, it was a blessing in disguise, you know, um, obviously it was unfortunate circumstances, but that time was precious. I don't know if I'll ever get that again um, with the line of work that we're all in. I don't know if they're going to um, make the trip to come visit when, when they allow families. So, uh, you know, who knows? But it was part of it, and it's tough, and I take a lot of pride in being, you know, a father. And, uh, you know, family is probably the most important thing for me. So that was definitely a, a tough decision to make. Thank God for FaceTime. And Zoom, I guess. Um, yeah. I know you've got Black Lives Matter on your shirt right there, and you guys had it pr uh, prominently on the buses. How did that come about? We had some meetings, you know, from the beginning of, of the George Floyd incident. We were on Zooms as a team, um, and then when we were in Naples, we had another meeting. Um, so it was something that we talked about. That was just one part of, of something we talked about. So we wanted to display something, but, you know, we're not really that focused on, you know, uh, the looks and appearances. I think it was a nice gesture, but we, we got a little small committee, subcommittee that's really trying to, you know, bring about real change too. Gotcha. What, what are you going to wear on New Jersey? Are you going to do a special social justice name? Uh, I picked a couple of things. I don't know what, what I'll end up getting. Um, I did submit uh, something that wasn't on the list and, and it got shot down. So I was a little disappointed by that, but um, again, I think, you know, something small, I think it will, it will make an impact, but I'm not really, uh, you know, living and dying by symbolic gestures that felt like a symbolic victory. They tried to throw us a bone uh, to keep us happy. So I was a little disappointed in the whole scope of it, but you know, it is what it is. I understand the business side of it. Right. And, and when you, when you talk about putting, you know, words into action, what have you guys, you know, come up with as a team? Uh, that you feel like you guys can execute maybe either in the bubble or once you guys leave the bubble? Yeah, I think the hardest thing is each guy is pretty passionate and has their own items of action and their own list of things that they want to do. So our conversation just shifted towards what can we do together and how do we itemize certain things that we can really take action on. So I know something that we started to work on and it, it came from the coaches' side and the coaches' committee is getting uh, – all the Americans that are living in Canada to vote, to absentee vote, to send a ballot in. So that's something that we're gonna work on. That's just one thing. Um, there's a lot of other things, whether we're talking about um, representation, you know, hiring more, getting uh, more leadership programs, more mentoring programs. So there's certain things that we're doing, it's a lot. Um, and it's not just a plug one hole and, and fix the problem type of things. We're working on a lot of different things. So now shifting focus to the to what you're in now, right? The NBA's campus down in Orlando. What has the environment been like for you so far, both from a condition standpoint, safety standpoint, I guess food standpoint? Uh, what's it been like down there? Yeah, it's been all right. It's been all right. It's not it's not bad. Obviously, it's not ideal. I think uh, it's just like a long extended training camp. You practice, you work out, and you you know, find something else to do with your spare time. Other than that, I play video games, so it hasn't been that bad for me. I've been in the room. Um, the food is probably the worst part, but I think that'll just take some getting used to. There's only so many options they can give us while still being, you know, following the COVID guidelines. So I get it. I mean, I'm, I'm here. I'm not going to do too much complaining. I know you've talked openly about, like, different concerns that you had going in, you know, based on everything that's going on in, in this country. Um, now that you're in it, have any of those concerns been alleviated? How do you feel uh, based on the concerns you had going in? Uh, I still feel good. Um, I wasn't, I wasn't um, too scared of, of the virus. I mean, I feel like, you know, they were going to do a good job of keeping us safe that way. We'll see. You know, only time will tell. Um, you know, like I said before, I think leaving my family was the hardest part for me, um, knowing that I might not be able to see them for three months, uh, which sucks with, with two babies. But then the other thing is just, you know, did it did it feel right? Was it a was it a tone deaf kind of thing to go out and play basketball with all this stuff going on? So you gotta balance all of those things, but um all in all I, I feel 
pretty good here. And I think that, you know, once we start playing, it'll it'll kind of – everything will fall back. And that's what we do. We play basketball. That's our jobs. It's, you know, a lot of our lives has been dedicated to that. So once we get back to what we do, I think everything else will fall into the balance. And I think guys are still being able to, you know, be active in the, in the communities, you know, by way of whatever, email, phone calls, you know, working behind the scenes and um, still staying safe here. And, and then we'll try to go and compete for a championship. You guys are the reigning NBA champions. How much of a chip on, on your shoulder do you guys have? Obviously, you guys were counted out by a lot of people. We were there the, the night free agency began when Kawhi was a free agent, but you guys are, are, are right up there in the Eastern Conference. How much of a chip on your guys' shoulder do you guys have to, to try to repeat here? Yeah, a little bit. I think that's part of it. I think more so than that, we just like to prove to ourselves and prove to people who believe in us that, you know, this is who we are and we can do it. Like, we got a good team. And um, I don't think anybody expected us to be where we are this year. And I think nobody will expect to see what we're able to, you know, accomplish this postseason. So we're going into it confident. And, you know, as long as we can keep everybody healthy, I think we got a great shot at, at competing for another championship. So going into it, you know, very confident, very motivated. And, I mean, we're here, so we might as well try to win this thing. How does the team? How's the team look through several practices so far? Is there? I saw. I've seen pictures of Marcus Saul, and you know, it looks like most of the guys have been in shape. But how? How's your team looking so far? Is there anyone that that stands out to you positively or negatively? Uh, yeah, I'm not. I can't say negatively, uh, but uh, <laughs> I think everybody looks good, man. I think everybody looks good. I think you know, people really took the time to uh, work on their their bodies and their crafts over over the break, if that's what you want to call it. Um, we got a lot of good guys and, and high character guys and veteran guys, so I wasn't I wasn't concerned about that. More so, just getting the rust and getting the rhythm back. But um, you know, I think I was a little surprised at how fast we kind of picked back up where we were. I know it may take some time to get there in game format, but practice, you know, has, has been looking pretty good. So um, you know, I'm excited about you know moving forward. Awesome, Fred. I appreciate you taking the time, man. Be safe and and enjoy the the, the return of the season. No doubt. Thanks, bro.